Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Firefly Fishing episode, baby. We are out here once again, beautiful Alpine Lake, Northern California. Um, guys, the fishing has been incredible this morning. We decided to turn the camera on, get the GoPro stuff running, and um, I'm sure you guys have heard of like trolling with like dodgers for kokanee you know trolling with lures and stuff like that for trout but today we are going to be trolling with flies it probably sounds really weird and totally like you're not supposed to do it but it works so well here guys we got sink tip line on our rods um we're throwing little leeches um anywhere from even some big larger rainbow trout streamers and we're just sorry fish literally just rose behind us and we're literally just chucking it out there away, stripping it out some line, and just trolling around town. And um, the fish are just munching. So you guys are in for a real treat today. This is a pretty crazy episode. You guys stay tuned. Um, I'll show you the setup right now, actually. All right, guys. So that is the leech we are going to be tossing today. That guy right there. And this is connected. It's some pretty heavy line, but it was the only line I had. It's 10-pound fluorocarbon. So this fluoro, it's completely invisible. Um, it sinks as well, so it's only going to add to just digging even deeper. Connected to some sink tip line. I have a 10 foot seven weight as my streamer rod, so I figure why not, we'll just use this one. And my reel on it, um, got some real gold fly line on it. This thing's ready to go, guys. So we are gonna chuck this thing out there, troll it about a mile, mile and a half, and uh, just pick up some fish left and right. So stay tuned, guys. Oh, look at that, guys. Already, fish on. Already, guys, fish on. Rod's double. Literally, line's been out for like a couple seconds. And we got a fish on that little leech. Got the bite on camera. So cool. I'll tell you what. It, while you're trolling, these fish fight freaking hard, guys. He's stripping some line out. Feels so good. Oh, my gosh. Come on, baby. Oh gosh, I'm getting hit. Are you getting hit I'm too, getting bro? Hit. No kidding. Oh, that's a nice oh, fish. Oh my gosh. That's a nice Good fish. fish. <laughs> a nice fish on, ladies and gentlemen. Check this thing out. Once, once the, this fish is landed, Noah's gotta take his. Noah's gotta take his. Oh yeah, it feels so nice. Finally hooking up. Go, baby. All right, buddy. Get that net job. Nice. Not a bad fish, guys. He was tugging like crazy, though. Gosh, dang it. We're going to get an underwater release on this guy and get a little couple pictures here. Um, Noah's getting bit. All right, guys. Just landed mine. And right when I landed mine, pull that guy up. Look at that. Noah just landed his as well. Double bag right now. Absolutely awesome. And that guy's just tucked in the corner over there. Ah, look at that. We're gonna get an underwater release, guys. Freaking perfect. Literally like five minutes in. Good work, buddy. Just like that, guys. Hooked up again. Just like that. Trolling barely behind us, dude. This fish is right here. So the thing is, guys, we're trolling. We're catching all these trout. Keep in mind, this reservoir has giant, this lake, has absolute giant brook trout in them. So you never know when we come across a big old brookie. Man, this guy's head shaking down here. Get that view real quick, buddy. Inhaled that leech. I'm gonna pull this out for the camera real quick, guys, and check this out. Right in the corner of the mouth. Pop that guy out real quick, guys. And stay tuned here. We got the release right now. Come here, buddy. Keeping you wet, dude. All right. Check this out. Here he goes. And yeah, just like that. Enjoy your swim, buddy. Well, guys, just another one. That's three in like the matter of like probably five, 10 minutes. And uh, oh man, it just, it just happened so quick out here. And you never know 
when we hook it in the next big brook. So Noah already called a monster brook and uh, I'm still looking for one myself. So who knows? Stay tuned guys. Good stuff coming. Nice buddy. Noah just hooked up guys. Of course, right when we turned the camera off, we were just trolling. Rod is doubled, absolutely nice, dude. Beautiful, man. Let's get a look at this fish. Get the net here. Nice, dude. I know, right, dude? It does make the seven weight feel nice. Ah, uh, look at that guy out there. Beautiful, man. Ah, spit it. That's all right, dude. Hey, more fish to be caught. That's right, dude. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, guys. That feels so good. Oh, man. He's back there jumping. Beautiful fish. Gosh, when you're trolling at anything, guys, it feels so good. Oh, he's foul hooked. No, he's not. Right in the mouth. Inhale it. Beautiful. Nice. Nice job, man. Let's get another beautiful look at this fish, guys. These rainbow trout up here. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Give from God, huh? My other hand down here. Wet the hands. Yeah, look at that thing. Absolutely beautiful, guys. These lay trout, I mean, there are just so many of them out here. Such a beautiful thing. All right, guys, and just to inform you guys, I don't do a whole lot of spinner fishing. However, you can still do this exact same method at any of your lakes, etc., um, on a spinning rod if you don't own a fly rod. Um, I would highly recommend trying a fly rod. The weight, I mean, it just feels so good. However, we also have a spinning rod in here, and uh, Cabela's Fish Eagle with Shimano Reel, and um, same thing. We got a leech, and that thing's tied up all the way up to a swivel. Um, just in case this leech is spinning around down there, we're not getting line twist inside the reel here. So anyways, guys, I'm going to show you this exact same method will still work on a spinning rod. This doesn't even have sinking line. So this, this leech is probably a couple inches down from the surface, if not a little more below that. Uh, but these fish don't care. They see it. They're hungry. They're going to eat it, period. So we're going to um, chuck this thing out here real quick. Not a whole lot of weight. And you fly fishermen probably think this is a sin, and I agree. However just for the video purpose and um, to show you guys that uh, it's, it can still be done with a spinning rod. Speaking of, that was a fish right there. Hold on. Fish literally took it as I cast out. Keep letting out line. Keep letting out. All you do is just free spool this thing as we're trolling back here, guys. Free spool it. Perfect. That's plenty of line right there. We're gonna let that thing rest. I'm actually gonna hold it. I have a feeling it's gonna happen real quick here. Just for the fun of it, give it more line. The longer the fight, the funner. Probably not great for the fish. There's plenty of them out here. Just like that, guys. Literally just like that. Fish takes. 10 seconds later, I've been still recording this whole time. And he's back there jumping. It's actually a small guy. See, this is the thing about a spinning rod. Fly rod, you can't horse the whole time. This thing's skiing. Here we come, boys. Yoink. Welcome in the boat, buddy. Just like that. Skied this bad boy in. Wet the hands, because it's still a trout. 
just like that, Whew, gone. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for staying tuned in this episode. We got more awesome fishing this week for you guys. We're gonna try some live bait out possibly. Um, the, we have so many different ideas. We already have a dry fly video coming on the works right now. Um, got my two weight I've been using for that thing. Just absolutely nuts. Um, so guys, this is beautiful out here. I am burnt. Maybe that was in the screen. I don't know. Fish just rise. Um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying your week, weekend as well. Every opportunity you can get outside. Uh, beautiful opportunities like this with your friends, family, etc. Uh, they're good times, guys. So stay tuned for the next episodes. Make sure to subscribe. It helps me out a ton, guys. It's completely free. And um, it only helps my channel out um, grow into that next step. Also, hit the like button and comment. Um, I love your guys' comments and stuff. They, they make me super stoked. So peace out, guys. Tight lines.